Yeah. We're at uh, Guleli Cemetery in uh, Addis Ababa. I'm looking uh, many times for the uh, memorial for uh, Colonel John Robinson, the pilot who flew for Ethiopia against the Italians. He was buried in this cemetery, Gulila, Guleli, and uh, many people have come here to find his grave and unfortunately no one has been able to find it. I happen to have a picture of it being a circle with a cross. But uh, I've been through this cemetery uh, three times now and so I've spent about five hours and uh, I've checked even the Italian side but I haven't been able to uh, find uh, his uh, grave and it's very uh, depressing because he gave his life for Ethiopia and uh, the camera can't hear my voice unless you come close. You see what I'm saying? The microphone is on the camera. So um, it's very disappointing to come here to the cemetery in Ethiopia. Uh, Colonel Robinson was getting ready to come back to the United States. He was um, spent his whole career in Ethiopia, and um, unfortunately, they asked him to make an emergency flight to bring blood for a, a young child who had been hit by a propeller. And uh, he went up in the air with the plane and uh, the, had a motor problem with the plane, and so he crashed. And uh, he didn't die instantly. He died uh, two weeks later in the hospital. And Emperor Selassie came by and. Uh, and told him uh, uh, his last rites and thanked him for what he gave to Ethiopia. And uh, I just wish somehow we could find his cemetery here and uh, be able to uh, celebrate his life and have some concrete place that we can have a memorial for him. Uh, but unfortunately, having come here three times, and spending about five hours looking throughout the cemetery, uh, I haven't been able to find his grave. And uh, we'll have to uh, do something else to memorialize him. Uh, perhaps uh, name an airport in Ethiopia after John Rob Colonel John Robinson or, or some other uh, appropriate way to honor his uh, legacy. Um, in this country. Uh, not only did he fly against the Italians as the only African-American to fly and, and be head of uh, a country's uh, air force. He was head of the Imperial Ethiopian Air Force. And uh, he took on the Italians and in heroic fashion. They, they had planes with guns. He, he was trying to deliver messages and blood and move soldiers and uh, he even did have a chance occasionally to shoot uh, and he had been shot at so uh, he survived all of that and uh, then he went back to the United States and uh, he recruited the Tuskegee Airmen after World War II and he brought them here to train the first Ethiopian Airlines uh, before TWA the genesis of Ethiopian Airlines uh, was uh, Sultan Airways and then uh, Ethiopian Airlines and he brought uh, Tuskegee Airmen and they helped train about 80 pilots here in Ethiopia and those pilots were trained mainly in the Air Force but they transitioned also to the first pilots for the Ethiopian Airlines and uh, so he was a hero not only for Ethiopia to Africa for the whole world but back in America, he has, was the first African-American to uh, break the color line in the segregated uh, Curtis Wright uh, flight school. He started out uh, at Tuskegee University as an automobile engineer, auto mechanic. And uh, he ended up building his own plane and getting into the school. Then he became a teacher of the school. Then he started his own airline in Chicago, John Robinson Airlines. He started his own school of, uh, of, of uh, uh, training for our pilots. And uh, he even trained the first Chinese pilots uh, in America, the first uh, Chinese Air Force. They went to his school in Chicago. 
Um, just an incredible record, a, a historical record of the first to do so many things and to literally give his life in the cause at that time, the Pan-African cause that was so strong in Chicago with Marcus Garvey and so many other leaders at that time. So many African Americans lined up in Harlem, in D.C., in Chicago, in Detroit to go fight for Ethiopia. Unfortunately, the U.S. government wouldn't allow them to go. But the, 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 the heart was there, the feeling was there that Ethiopia, the independent Ethiopia, was being attacked and trying to be colonized by the European. That was unacceptable throughout the whole African diaspora. And uh, John Robinson was the perfect example of taking that consciousness and putting it to action. And, and so he is a hero for Ethiopia. He's a hero for Africa, for America, American hero. He's the father of the Tuskegee Airmen. And uh, here we are where he was buried in 1954. Uh, and uh, you know, unfortunately, we can't we can't uh, come and pay our respects here today. Um, thank you.